Hey y'all, my name is Brooke Eden. I am a country singer from West Palm Beach, Florida, and I now live here in Nashville, Tennessee. I started singing when I was five years old. Well, I started singing when I was four years old, but um, my dad is a drummer in a country band in my hometown. And I started singing with his band in the Honky Tonks when I was like five years old. So imagine me, just mini me, uh, in like sequin chaps and a cowgirl hat, singing Shania Twain, Any Man of Mine at five. I would say it's soulful country. Uh, I grew up on solely country music. I didn't even know that another genre of music existed until I was older. And um, I was in college when I found soul. I found Etta James and just absolutely fell in love with her voice and the way that her voice made me feel. And uh, so yeah, I would say that my music is, is soulful country. Patsy Cline is a huge influence of mine. I just love also the way that her voice sounds. Um, and Leanne Rimes, Shania Twain, Trisha Yearwood, The Chicks, Jody Messina is another big one. Those are some of my, my big influences. This album starts at the beginning of our relationship with a song called Whisperin'. It's just about like small town gossip and how a lot of times people make your story before you can even tell it. And then it goes into um, some love songs and just goes through the progression of our relationship and uh, ends with our first dance song at our wedding. So I'm really excited to get to share that song just because it's so personal to us. I wrote it for specifically for our first dance and um, it's it's been really, cool to, to see people hear it and go, oh, I want to I wanna dance to that at my wedding. What's really funny is I write love songs about Hillary uh, almost every time I write. It's what inspires me a lot right now. And <laughs> I was so excited when I wrote this song, specifically wrote all my life for our first dance. And I came home and I was like, babe, I wrote this song, it's for our first dance. I'm so excited for you to hear it. And she's like, yeah, hon, we have a lot of songs we could use for our first dance. I was like, what? No, this is the one. I'm so excited for you to hear it. And it took three days for us to really sit down. But once we sat down, um, she started crying and looked at me and she was like, this is definitely the song we have to dance for our first dance. And I actually have it on video, it's on TikTok. And it's, it's really sweet because I, I think it really caught her off guard with how much she felt. Um, but the song starts, all my life I thought that I was built to ride off into a sunset all alone. And my father-in-law, when he heard the song, he was, he's like, Brooke, is it okay if I ask you a question? I'm like, yeah. He's like, that, the beginning of that song, did you really feel like you were going to be alone for your whole life? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I really did. I, I, that that was it's real. So I think that what's so cool about that song is that I never thought I would get married. I never thought I would fall in love. I never thought that I would be able to be in a love like this. And so um, I just feel really lucky to get to experience this love during this life. So um, in June of 2021, Trisha called me and said, hey, I have this idea. My song, She's in Love with the Boy, it's the 30th anniversary of it. And I've always wanted to do something special with, um, with this song for the 30th anniversary. And she said, ever since I first sang this song to a crowd, people came up to me and said, hey, I don't tell anybody, but I sing He's in Love with the Boy or I sing She's in Love with the Girl. And I've always wanted to do something with that, but never knew how until now. And she's like, what if we change the words to She's in Love with the Boy to She's in Love with the Girl to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the song? Hillary and I had just gotten engaged and it was Pride Month. And so she was like, would you want to do that together? And I was so excited. I mean, Trisha's just such a great ally and such a good friend. And 
Um, of course, a country music icon that I, I can't even believe I get to use those words to describe her. <laughs> but um, we did this, you know, turned She's in Love with the Boy to She's in Love with the Girl at the Opry. And afterwards, we were just so pumped at the reaction that we got from the audience. And she was like, okay, when's the wedding? Like, I, what do I get to do? She's like, I'm, I'll get officiated. Like, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, you know, I'll, I will officiate this wedding if you allow me to. So, um, when the queen offers to officiate your wedding, you don't say no. And, uh, yeah, so it was just, it was really, really cool. We got married in a little chapel and, um, Trisha officiated and Garth actually sang us down the aisle with his little guitar saying to make you feel my love as we walked down the aisle. So it was definitely, there was not a, a dry eye in the place. Yeah, I mean, outlaw love um, in and of itself is really a, it's a story. The whole thing is a story. And I think that what's so important about being in a same sex relationship is visibility and representation and i think that the more and more people meet the people behind being gay right the more people will understand that we're people who deserve to be in love and be loved and um and for me you know pride month is finally getting to celebrate who I am and getting to celebrate this love that I found in this life that I feel so lucky to have found and sharing that joy with my fans. And um, I mean, Outlaw Love specifically is just, it's really a, you know, people can say whatever they want to say, they can do whatever they want to do, but at the end of the day, people are still going to fall in love. People are still going to love who they love. And, um, and I'm really, really proud to be able to put out this EP during Pride Month and just share that joy with everybody. So I have a few dates coming up as far as shows go. I'm playing Kentucky on a Pride on June 17th in Louisville. I'm playing the Opry on June 24th. And then I'll be at Out Loud Festival here in Nashville in September. I hope that people can see themselves in this album. You know, I grew up loving country music so much, but not really feeling like there were any country artists that were speaking to me and my love and my heart. And so I hope that people can listen to this EP and really see themselves in country music and know that they belong here and know that there's a place for them here. Hey y'all, thanks so much for listening. Make sure you go listen to my new EP, Outlaw Love, on iHeartCountry. Country.